Hey guys, it's Renee. So today we're going to be testing out the sky. It's basically to create or paint fine lines. I bought this at Hobby Lobby. I think it's pretty affordable if it works. It's basically to create fine lines. It's a writer. Fits most two ounce acrylic paint bottles, which is what I have. Instructions are in the back. Simply hold the tip slightly above the surface and squeeze it gently. And then to clean it, put this on like the bottle itself. And then once you're done, right away, you just clean this part with this one. I think this is pretty handy and if it works, it's going to change my whole painting game because I usually paint with a really thin or delicate brush, but then you go ahead and paint with it, the brush like opens and it's not a fine line anymore. I will hope it works. I'm really excited about this. This is what it looks like. And I'm dying to do this to see what happens. Oh, you twist it and then it closes in here. So, I'm practicing in a black piece of paper. And to start with, this is just great. Oh, this is cool. So I decided to change the angle, guys, so you can see what I'm doing. Also, when you have paint and you leave the uh, bottle like this, not covered, pretty simple, you just have to go like this. So it's a matter of like practice, pressure, and how you do this. Because as you can see, sometimes you just run out of like paint. You can go back. I'm like shaky right now, so that's why my lines look wonky. Don't squeeze it too much though, because then you're gonna have like this, like shaking it right there. This reminds me so much of like the creating cookies because of the pressure you have to put on the piping bag and all that. So I noticed that when I uh, stop like with the pressure on it, the gaps happen. Now I'm putting pressure on it, putting pressure on it, I'm not putting pressure on it. I also want to show you how it looks like when you write on my writing is awful, just so you know. But just so you can get an idea of what you can do with this. I'm gonna write amazing as well because I feel like this is no pressure. Because I don't think it needs pressure. Maybe it does. Two days later. And I've been testing this out. So if you make pressure, this is what you get. A complete line. If you don't make any pressure, there you go. Like the line is not complete at all. It's a, a thinner line, but you get a bunch of this ones. And if you want a straight line, this is what I've been doing. I just put this here with pressure, no pressure. One thing that I found of this one is that if your acrylic paint is too runny, like if it has a lot of water in it, when you do this, the acrylic paint won't stop coming up. So you have to be cleaning this as you use it. For writing is handy, for um, straight lines is handy, but when you have something like a dot, I would suggest you using a toothpick. But if you have a bunch of like dots, this is handy because you just can do this. So this is the kind of lines you get with this one. With a brush, it looks pretty uh, delicate and just fine in the brush, but when you go ahead and paint with it, this happens a lot to me. I have to go and apply more paint and this is how I end up with really thick lines and no, I don't like that. The tricky part though with this one is the cleaning part. With a brush you just wash it, but with this one it's kind of tricky. It's don't wait too long since you use it and you clean it because sometimes a lot of like acrylic paint gathers in this part and it's pretty tricky to clean. Now I'm removing this part. The paint is all in there and you just have this one, okay? Just a feedback that I have for this one. To my personal taste, this wire should be longer because this one doesn't give you enough like space to just go all the way to it. I have no idea where this stops, the wire. You can't really go in there and just watch the whole thing. Maybe one day I'll remove this wire to just clean the whole thing, but I mean, it's handy and I like that it comes with it, but at the same time, this uh, plastic around it is cute because you can like close it if you need to, but if you don't need it, it's just a lot of like plastic in there and you just need this wire. So it would be handier to just have a longer wire or just a cup, a wire to clean it, and then this one. 
this is how I cleaned it. It's real hard to show in white because the whole thing is white to begin with. Keeping that the wire is short and you can't really see where it's cleaning, how much of a leftover paint is still in there. Well, in my case, I had to go several times washing it and then um, putting the wire in. I mean, it's nice that it's included in it. For the price, I can't really complain, but it's kind of tricky. Just for the cleaning part itself, I just wouldn't use it for just one dot. And this is what I did to just find out if there was paint left and then to let it dry I just put this on top of a napkin if there was any leftover paint or residue it's going to fall right in there so I'm just going to show you what has been working for me when you have multiple acrylic paint bottles to use and when you only have one tool I'm going to be doing the same thing but before you use it after you wash it just take a napkin and just clean it because the first like strokes always come with the leftover of the previous one. But this is pretty much everything that I wanted to share with you. I really like it. I find it so handy and helpful for some things. Not so much for others, but overall I recommend it. I really like it. I'm glad I went for it and I wish I had more. And maybe this has been around for a long time, but it's the first time that I see it and I really like it. So yeah, I really hope you found this helpful. If you did, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel for more stuff and share this. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. I'll talk to you later and take care. Bye.